All right, I'm gonna preface this video by saying if you're expecting these greenhouse videos to be in nice chronological order, one right after the other, they're not because that's just not the way things work around here. This greenhouse, for the most part, stuff has to be done when I'm here and that's not all day every day at this point. So what we're doing today is I'm just trying to get the batter boards up and get this thing laid off. I want this to be centered up on the pad as best as possible. So I kind of got to get in the ballpark before I put these batter boards up. And Eden, you picking your nose for the camera? So <laughs> the batter boards, what we're going to do is there'll be two posts at a 45 degree angle to the greenhouse and now I'm going to put a batter board at the bottom kind of low like about like that and then I'm going to put one up at like four to five feet and that's going to be the top of the post and the reason we're using these batter boards like this is so that we can adjust our strings and get them perfectly plumb from top to bottom and that's how we're going to keep our post plumb um, lengthwise of the greenhouse and uh, by using these batter boards you have an option of putting a screw anywhere up and down it for your strings so we're going to do this on all four corners and then we'll get our strings pulled and get everything squared up just right. Alright, so this is what I was getting at with the batter boards. Um, this is going to be my... My shortest one uh, actually just worked out that way because these are posts are the shortest, but I put them where I knew the post that was going to be driven in the ground the furthest would be. That's the reason these this uh, batter board right here is on top of the post. And you see these posts for the greenhouse are come pre-drilled, which is pretty nice. If you've ever tried to run... Um, self-tapping screws or bore holes in this stuff it ain't no fun and you can go through a bunch of drill bits in a hurry but this one is drilled for bolting on your baseboard at the bottom of the greenhouse so that's how deep they intend for you to put it in the ground um, so if you're using like a not sure if I'm gonna use two baits or two batons because lumber's come down now so I'm thinking about using two batons but uh, if you go two by tens, I mean, you've got four and a half inches below that. So you're looking at putting her in the ground about two foot down there. There's a little bit of fall on this pad. That's intentional um, because I don't want the water to stand in here. I want it to run out the front. But um, so you can see how much my post will be driven in the ground and it'll get gradually less as we go down to the end. We got dark on a sudden night and we're about to get this thing laid out and squared up to where we can start driving post. So we got it laid out. Square, it's level. It's measured from side to side. And now, and we're putting our bottom string on. The reason we're running two strings is so we can keep the post plumb and we're not worried about this string being level just as long as it's plumb with the top string so this is going to be by far the least fun part of this whole project I believe down on that end, we got about 28 inches of post driven in the ground. And up here, we're driving. 
the last post is 42 inches in the ground and this end is the hardest the dirt's hard getting into this clay where it was graded out that ends a little bit of uh, backfield topsoil driving these things is no fun That last part where we were driving post, there was a whole lot of that. Both sides are driven straight as an arrow. And I was planning to start putting up the arches first thing in the morning. But we've got a truck to load for uh, Monday. So we got to... Uh, wash a bunch of squash tomorrow but we did get the arches over here this is going to be a really big unit this right here is half an arch there's the centerpiece that holds them together and there's all the pieces I don't know how many of these things there are but there's a darn pile of them this is a purling clamp Two of them go together and hold all the purlins on. It's going to be uh, quite a job getting the rest of this thing put together. But I don't know. I said this is the hard part. This might have been the easy part. But it's done. Feels like uh, a pretty big step because it was a lot of work getting on that post drive. When you're running that post driver, it feels like it's 248, but there's actually only 48. Anyway, there will uh, these videos are probably not going to be in chronological order, but um, I will put them all in a playlist uh, as I go. So if you want to go back at some point and uh, reference one of the videos how we did something, um, that's where they'll be. But I'm just gonna keep filming like I always do whatever we got going on that's what I'm gonna put a video up about I'm gonna try to get more consistent in my videos things have just really been hectic the past couple weeks and I just ain't had time to hardly film anything but certainly not to edit and post anything because we've been working a lot of hours but uh, I'm gonna try to get some more videos coming here pretty soon I appreciate y'all watching and I'll see you next time.